All right, kids, it's a brand new day. Hey there, hi there, ho there, come and join my jamboree. M I C K E Y M O U S E. All right. I think today, uh, we're still working on that pin two order, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw my apron on. See what's going on with this stuff that I'm probably, probably shouldn't show on camera. See what I got going on with this here, Pilgrim. And uh, go from there. Sounds like a plan, Stan. Okay, sorry about the fan in the background there. But uh, I don't know how much time I got to do this today. So we're going to be going through uh, just a couple of, just some routine stuff here. So whenever, whenever you're doing robotic welding, you're going to have a station, right? So one of the first things that you got to check out is what is your station? Looks like our station is 71. All right. Or our program that's set to the station. Sorry, my bad. Still not really used to this whole tutorial nonsense. So this is actually a program that I was making with a... Um, uh, that I was making with someone who is interested in, in doing some uh, doing some robotic welding and uh, I've made this program as sort of a demonstrational so what we're going to do is um, we're going to take a look at how this program functions you know, make sure that it's still good and then we're going to go through and uh, plot out some new points and essentially make a new program from scratch. Isn't that gonna be fun? What do you think? Think it's gonna be fun? What do you think? You son of a bitch! You piece of crap! Okie dokie, Smokey. So, we're ready to go. So, first thing that you wanna do, you wanna make sure that you're in playback mode, which we are. Check that out. I wonder what that kanji means. Hmm. I know one of those is the kanji for love. Something. I don't know. I'm not going to I'm not going to think about it too hard. So, got our motor on. That's our start button. But we got to make sure. Ah, yes. We got to make sure that the teach pendant is in playback mode. All right. Looks like we're pretty much ready to go. This is a brand new jig, but I'm already finding a lot of slag accumulating on this. Uh, that is not good. That is not good for a new jig with only a couple of hundred parts on it. All right. So we're gonna get ready to run our first test for this new program. Cool. Make sure that's seated correctly. You gotta make sure that your parts are seated correctly, kids. Whenever you're doing welding on a jig, if it's gonna be good, it's gotta be the same way every single time. All right, let's do this. All right, fire in the hole, baby. How did it turn out? Dude, hell yeah. That looks great. Yeah, it's a little warbly on the bottom, but you know what? That's the first weld of the day. You gotta prime your welders, man. Even if it's a robotic welder, you gotta make sure you prime your welders there, buckaroonie. All right. Let's go on to the next, baby. Okay. Well, I was gonna do a more lengthy video, but I'm just gonna kind of make this quick here. So, hang on a second, I gotta, 
I gotta, gotta turn the motor on. Gotta get your motor running, baby. It's like Steppenwolf. Yeah, unfortunately, Yeah, see, this is the, one of the main reasons why I haven't tried to do this. Uh, is I need both of my hands in order to do this. how close that is right there so normally we would use a teach pendant uh, uh, excuse me uh, teach tip not a teach this is the teach pendant right here um, normally we would use a teach tip to uh, teach these points but because I've already figured out what my approach is uh, initially with this uh, with this first with this first one right here, um, I can roughly figure out what my approach needs to be when I teach the rest of these. Uh, but for right now, we're just going to we're just going to teach this one, and I'm probably going to do that off camera, and uh, and I'll demonstrate a little bit how that goes. Um, I guess before I go off camera here. Let's take a look at our art conditions. We use art condition file number one. And that's roughly what we're working with here. 23 volts, 187 amps, uh, 100 inches per minute. Find that. But yeah. All right, I'll be right back. All right, let's take a look at what we did here. Like I said, I, I really wish that I could, if I, if I had somewhere to put this damn phone down, I suppose I could always put it down there or something. But uh, basically, we created four uh, circle interpolations. We created an approach point. We created an initial point. Let's see if I can. That's our initial point. That's our initial linear point. That right there is our approach point. All right, that's where we came from. That's our approach point. Then we got a point right there. We got a point right there. And like I said, I didn't use the uh, the teach the teach tip to make these. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of just uh, eyeballing it. But we got a point there. Basically, we have four circular points at the 12 o'clock position, at the nine o'clock position, at the six o'clock position, at the three o'clock position, and then back again somewhere kind of sort of around the uh, the 12 o'clock position. Sometimes it's a really good idea to overlap on a weld, but what we're gonna do uh, These are my that's my arc start setting right there. That's my arc in what we're gonna do is we're gonna check this out and make sure that everything's hunky-dory Hang on a second Okay, so in our little special menu here, we have a check weld option. We're going to go ahead and hit that, All right? So the check weld option is on. You can hear that beeping. That means that
you also have to make sure that it's in continuous mode. So basically what this means is that if I hold down the dead man switch and hit go, I gotta change my hands around. See, you see why I don't really make videos very much? It's because this is very cumbersome. All right, we're ready to go. Let's see how she turned out. You know, I gotta say, for just eyeballing a motherfucker, that looks pretty fucking good. If you ask me. Oh yeah, who's your daddy, baby?